something, you gotta just take it. Come on, first thing that comes out of your mouth. Well... Say it, Wolfgang! I wanna rock! I wanna rock!
friends, it's me again, your Broadway buddy, Ben Cameron. I am feeling fired up about tonight's super rad game. Tonight, we are celebrating everyone's favorite face-melting guilty pleasure musical, Rock of Ages. You know you love it. I know I've seen it at least four times, and guess what? Now you can too, because it's back. Rock of Ages has returned to its off-Broadway roots back at New World Stages right here in New York City. And one of you rock stars out there is going to win tickets tonight. Now, if you've lived under a different kind of rock over the last 10 years, Rock of Ages is a celebration of all things glam rock and 80s, featuring a score comprised of your favorite 80s rock anthems. Rock of Ages became a worldwide phenomenon and a mainstream Hollywood, Hollywood hit and has no signs of slowing down. Rock of Ages tells the story of a famous Sunset Strip hotspot and the band of rockers who come together to save the club and the music. And maybe, just maybe, someone falls in love. So fans, break out your guy liner, hairspray those bangs to the sky, and let's play. Here's how the game works. I am going to ask you 10 questions about Rock of Ages. For each question you answer, you get five cents in reward dollars and a piece of our 250 reward dollar prize. Now don't forget to utilize those extra lives if you get a question wrong. Whoever is still in the game after 10 questions will be entered into our ticket lottery and someone, maybe you, will win two free theater tickets. Okay, you're welcome. Have no fear, even if you don't win tonight's grand prize of two theater tickets, you'll have another chance to win something later on tonight, because our next game is Emmys Trivia. The Emmys just took place on Sunday, and RTF has you covered with ten questions all about the Emmys. That'll go down right here on the Reward the Fan app at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the fabulous... Uh, A.K.A. The Voice. Now, Marcellus, I'm very excited about Emmy's Trivia because it was Broadway packed. It most definitely was. It was Broadway packed. Billy Porter, who's a Tony Award winner, mm -hmm. won for Best Actor for Pose, yeah. and Michelle Williams for playing Gwen Verdon and Fosse Verdon. How do you feel about it? I feel great about it. Both of them had incredible speeches. Michelle putting it out there for equal rights, equal pay for women and women of color. I mean, it was amazing. It was really a prolific moment. It, it was, was really amazing. Yeah. yeah. All right, so make sure you play with Marcellus, a.k.a. The yeah. Voice. Just say, I love Broadway. I love Broadway. Oh. Okay, get out of here. <laughs> make sure to follow us on social media at Reward the Fan, and of course, follow Rock of Ages at Rock of Ages Musical on Instagram or Rock of Ages on Twitter. Okay, we have a lot of you in the house tonight. Ooh. We have a lot of you in the house tonight. And those of you who are about to rock, we want to salute you. We want to say hello to Audrey Renza, Metadad, and to Shane too. To Shane too. We salute you as we are about to rock and roll. Now, if you haven't seen Rock of Ages on Broadway, off Broadway, in Chicago, on tour, it is the most fantastically fun night you can possibly have at the theater. And I want to tell you a little story about what I have done at Rock of Ages in the past. I may have snuck a bottle of vodka into Rock of Ages on an occasion and drank it up during the show. But that's how you rock, my friends. And now you know more about me than you ever needed or wanted to. But let's get on to it, my friends. <laughs> let's rock out with question number one. Rock of Ages culminates in a blazing hot musical finale featuring which Journey classic? Don't stop believing. You can't stop the beat. No day but today. All right, let's break this down, shall we? You Can't Stop the Beat is an epic 60s pop rock finale to the musical Hairspray and No, ba no Day But Today brings the curtain down on the musical Rent, which is my favorite. And of course, neither of those songs were made famous by the epic 80s rockers Journey. So the obvious answer here is don't stop believing. But of course you knew that. Everyone knows that. It's arguably the world's most sung karaoke favorite. What? You want to sing it now? So I don't Okay, great. And you sounded great singing it. I like that little harmony you do right there at the very end. You're very talented. Okay, let's shred on over 
to question number two. What is the name of the bar that the action takes place around in Rock of Ages? Is it Cheers, Senior Frogs, The Bourbon Room? Now, we all know that sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. True, as that may be. Cheers is the bar in the classic sitcom, Cheers. Probably the most famous bar in the world, frankly. And Senior Frogs is a favorite spot for the spring break set. There was actually a Senior Frogs in Times Square for a very short run. But what can we say? It's tough to have a long run on Broadway. Even with something called a frogasm on the menu. The answer here is the Bourbon Room. Okay. Now, although it was a fictional spot at the time the musical uh, opened, the Bourbon Room has become a Rock of Ages-themed reality this year on Hollywood Boulevard in Los Angeles, baby. So next time you're in town, go get your face melted Rock of Ages style. Let's keep the party moving on over to question number three. Which Hollywood bigwig starred as Stacy Jacks in the film version of Rock of Ages? Tom Cruise? Johnny Depp? James Carpinello. All right. Johnny Depp is definitely a Hollywood bigwig and is no stranger to musical movies, having played Sweeney Todd in Tim, Tim Burton's film. James Carpinello played Stacey Jacks in the Broadway production, replacing multiple Tony nominee Will Swenson, who played the role in the off-Broadway production. The Hollywood bigwig who donned a big wig on film is everyone's favorite Scientologist, Tom Cruise. Did you get that right? Most of you did. Very strong showing. Of course, Cruise was the first major celebrity to sign up for the film version of Rock of Ages. The film also starred Mary J. Blige, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and Julianne Hough. But I prefer my Rock of Ages live on stage. So let's strut on over to question number four. Rock of Ages lead character Drew rocks the stage under which stage name? Is it Wolfgang von Kolt? Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, or Wolfgang Puck. That's a lot of Wolfgang. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was the most important composer of the classical era and undoubtedly was an influencing factor in Drew's choice of stage name. But Amadeus, that's what I like to call him, died in 1751. Wolfgang Puck, one word, delicious. He's a restaurateur and famous chef, and I think there might be Wolfgang Pucks now at LaGuardia Airport. Why is that important? It's not. Your answer here is Wolfgang von Colt. Now, a whole bunch of you got that one totally right, and that means you've made it to a reward box. Everyone who got this question correct will now be automatically entered to win our question for reward box prize, which is a five reward dollars which is five reward dollars, or a uh, five reward dollars. That'll get you a little closer to redeeming the tickets of your dreams. We've got two winners to find, and they are... C. Combs. I love you, C. Combs. And Irby. Irby, you also won. I-R-B-Y-Y. Irby and C. Combs. Well done. Congratulations. That's five reward dollars. Going out to both of you, Irby. But let's get back into the game with question number five. The character of Franz strips down into a wrestling onesie to take on his father Hertz singing which classic rock tune in Rock of Ages? Is it Shadows of the Night, Love is a Battlefield, or Hit Me With Your Best Shot? I gotta tell you, if you haven't seen it, this is one of the most hilarious moments in the show. Okay. All three of these songs were originally recorded by the legendary Pat Benatar. Shadows of the Night is featured in Rock of Ages, sung by Sherry and Justice. Love is a Battlefield was a huge hit for Pat Benatar and peaked at number five on the Hot 100 charts in 1983. But Franz gets his sexy on with Hit Me With Your Best Shot. Well, you are a bunch of real tough cookies with a long history of hanging in there strong halfway through our game. I say it takes a real man to pull off a bedazzled onesie live on stage, and no one really knows that quite as much as reality star and Broadway Rock of Ages alumni as Franz, my pal, Frankie James Grande. What's up, everybody? What's up, Ben? What's up, fans? What's up, friends? It's 
Frankie James Grande, and I'm here out in L.A. rehearsing the new immersive Los Angeles sit-down production of Ross, Rock of Ages. I'm so excited. Franz. Franz is pure love and light and energy and joy, and he finds the magic in the small, tiny little things, and I relate so much with him just trying so hard to find his purpose and his place on this planet Earth. Um, and once he finds it, he just goes after it with his entire heart. Uh, I love Franz so much. And um, I'll just never forget getting to close the Broadway show on Broadway as Franz in front of the entire original cast. It was insanely, insanely epic. Um, and just such an amazing gift. I'll never forget that for the rest of my life. Love you. Ah, thanks for that insight, Frankie. Now go put a shirt on. For God's sake. Would you hit us with your best shot now, Frankie, with question number six? What actor originated the role of Lonnie in Rock of Ages? Was it Jack Black, Jeremy Jordan, or Mitchell Jarvis? Ooh, this is a toughie. Let's talk it out, fans. Jeremy Jordan is best known to Broadway fans as the original Jack Kelly in Newsies and actually has starred as Drew in Rock of Ages, but he never got a whack at Lonnie. Although many folks speculated that Jack Black would be a shoe-in for Lonnie in the Rock of Ages film, the role was played by Russell Brand. The man behind the mustache and the mania is none other than the amazing Mitchell Jarvis. Mitch Jarvis is so synonymous with the role of Lonnie that he's back at the Bourbon Room getting all the laughs for the current 10th anniversary production. Now, if you haven't seen him rip into this role, you simply have to. You could say, frankly, that Mitch Jarvis is to Rock of Ages what Carol Channing is to Hello, Dolly. That's a big step. All right, let's say hello now to question number seven. Which of these songs is not featured in Rock of Ages? We built this city, nothing but a good time, Rock of Ages. All right, this one is a bit tricky. We built this city is totes in Rock of Ages. Now, I have a question for you, and it's just between you and I. Did anybody else have to jump rope to that song in elementary school? For, no? Just me? Okay, got it. All right. Nothing but a good time is Drew's big declaration of his ambitions for stardom in the show. So that means that your answer here can only be, oh, Rock of Ages. Crazy, right? That Def Leppard tune, Rock of Ages, may be the title of the musical, but it is not actually one of the songs in the show. Universal Music Group denied the production the rights to the song, but it is often played after a curtain call at some of the live productions. Hmm. Who knew? All right, rock stars, let's make some noise with question number eight. Who is the twisted sister frontman who starred in the Broadway production of Rock of Ages in 2010? Dee Snyder, John Bon Jovi, or Joan Jett? As it turns out, John Bon Jovi is the front man for the band Bon Jovi. His classic Dead or Alive is featured in the musical and is just a totally rocking song. Joan Jett, of course, is a rock icon and front woman for Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, whose hit, I Hate Myself for Loving You, is a showstopper in Rock of Ages. But your answer here is Dee Snyder! Snyder joined the Rock of Ages cast as Dennis in 2010. Both I Wanna Rock and We're Not Gonna Take It are Twisted Sister classics featured on Rock of Ages. Now, I hope you didn't get the answers too twisted up here. We're going to move on now to question number nine. What Broadway theater did Rock of Ages call home? The Brooks Atkinson Theater, the Helen Hayes Theater, or both? I got to tell you, theaters really do become homes for the cast and crews of Broadway productions. Heck, they probably spend more time in the theater than in their actual homes, which when you live in New York City, it may just be a blessing. At least at the theater, your shower isn't in your kitchen and you're not paying two grand a month for a 40 square foot piece of space and a dilapidated radiator and a roommate named Morris. Okay, Morris is less a roommate, more of a guest. He's less of a guest, he's more of a mouse. Maybe it's just me. Okay, the answer here is both. That's right. It doesn't happen often, but Rock of Ages switched theaters from the Brooks Atkinson to the smaller Helen Hayes in 2011. 
Producers believed that the move would give them another couple of years on Broadway at least and would keep the musical running while the movie was released. Okay, rock stars, we have done it. It's the final countdown and the final round! Okay, before we get to question number 10, I just want to say... I've had nothing but a good time with you, Sister Christian. I mean, we know you can play trivia any way you want it, but the search is over for you because I'm going to keep on loving you because I just can't buy this feeling anymore. I hope your score was high enough to be in at question 10. If not, that's okay. Every rose has its thorn. And don't stop believing because we'll be back again next week when I say here I go again with Broadway trivia. Ooh, oh, Sherry, I hate myself. For loving you. Here is question number 10. Question 10. How many Tony Awards was Rock of Ages nominated for in 2009? 10, 5, none. Rock of Ages rocked so hard and is so much fun that the Tony Awards had to show some love. Rock of Ages was absolutely Tony nominated. Now, not quite 10 times. But it was nominated for the following. Best Direction of a Musical, Chris and Hanging. Best Costume Design. Best Sound Design. Best Leading Actor in a Musical for Constantine Maroulis, who you also love from American Idol. And Best Musical. Your answer here is five. All right. We have a bunch of rock gods and goddesses among us. Congratulations to all bunch of you. That are still in the game. 11? 111? 111. I got the 1-1. One, one. I went with 11, but 1-1-1, one, 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 triple, even better. 111, you got all those questions correct. And I am very You are all going to be thrown into our ticket lottery for today's game in just a second. But first, I want to give some shout-outs. I want to give a shout-out to Gumbo Steve. That sounds delicious. Bamangan, Bamangan24. I want to give a shout out to Annex. I want to give a shout out to Bob's87. I want to give a shout out to Nathan BM. I hope it gets better, Nathan. I want to give a shout out to Nini2930, to Red Sox019, to 15 Anime Dan. Oh. To Baby Julia. Oh, Baby Julia. Oh, I like you. To McG2000, to Stephen B. Cohn. That's very proper. Stephen B. Cohn, I feel like you should be writing musicals. That sounds like a very proper musical writing name, like Jason Robert Brown, Stephen B. Cohn. Money Time 88, Migala, Be More Panic. Oh, I see what you did there, Be More Panic. All right, here we go. You are all entered into our lottery. Someone is going to rock it out very shortly. Now, whoever wins tonight will be rewarded with Rock of Ages tickets. So be sure to check your messages from the folks here at Reward the Fan and check them if your name is... I'm going to do a dance. This is what the dance looks like. I'm going to keep on dancing. And it could be you and the person who wins. If This is really... Well, and the person who wins is... We don't know yet. Are you... Yeah? Oh, it's Mr. Dotby. M-R-D-O-T-B. Mr. Dotby. Mr. Dotby. You're the winner, Mr. Dotby. Congratulations. That's it. My babies. Oh, I have rocked so hard tonight. I have said had such a good time. Make sure you keep on rocking and hang with me on social media at Ben Does Broadway and follow Rock of Ages at Rock of Ages Musical on Instagram and Rock of Ages on Twitter. And of course, you've got to follow Reward the Fan at Reward the Fan on all of the socials for all the updates plus info about our Emmys game coming up later tonight with my friend Marcellus. We'll see you next week for more hot Broadway trivia action. And remember, we'll always be your biggest fan. Good night! I want to rock! <laughs> <laughs>